morning everybody. Well today is day six of the HDT rally. Normally I would have Bubba here with me but he's outside and he's busy already. Um, today we have a um, telecommunications seminar and I'm always interested in new ways to keep connectivity when we're on the road both with cell signal and with Wi-Fi and from what I understand this is a solution that takes care of both of those things in one system so I'm really interested to hear about that I will have some snippets of it but what I'm thinking about and tell me if this is something you're interested in thinking about filming the whole thing and then for anybody who's interested in hearing about this I can go ahead and put it together and post it on YouTube so that anyone who's interested in it can go ahead and listen to the whole explanation of um, of this uh, this new system so so let me know if that's something you're interested in um, so yeah let's go ahead and get on with our day so Cindy what yes. was what was the guidelines you put down for uh, us going on the road I had to have connectivity all the time or I wouldn't have my job because to be honest I went out and solved this for me because I've been in telecommunications, data communications technology for almost four years, if I don't know them, they're probably dead or they just don't care anymore. Over the course of about 18 months, I, I, I looked at things that would work, I looked at things that I didn't think would work, um, and then I came up with what's been rocking and rolling for us, and actually Jim's got the same system. <coughs> and, and we have a system that they're now running with. It's proved to be far superior than anything else we've ever tried before. It, is it the end all? Probably not, but for us, it, it works extremely, extremely well. Every year they have a painting class here, and believe it or not, it's one of the things that's so popular, they keep bringing it back year after year. The people who have done it just love it. So what I'm gonna do is walk up there, and I'm gonna see if I can get just a little bit of video of what's going on up there in their painting class. They're a little worried here because there's drinking and painting going on. There's a little bit of wine involved. And you know, Eric, 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 Eric. Yeah. So maybe Alright, nobody wants their pictures taken too close up because they don't want their paintings showing up on YouTube. I don't blame them for that. I wouldn't either. But anyways, um, it's usually about a $20 charge, I think, for the painting class. And they provide everything, except the wine. I think you have to bring your own wine. But they provide the um, picture, the instruction, the canvas, the paint, the easels, all of that. And like I said, Everybody really has a good time with it and enjoys it. Maybe next year I'll do it. We've been walking around trying to get pictures of the trucks with their beds just to give you guys an idea of all the variety that's out there of I mean I think every single truck out here has a different bed on it the bed build part of today wasn't quite what I was expecting I think he ended up being a custom painter I think so I mean he brought in a beautiful truck mm -hmm. but as you can see <laughs> but it wasn't about the bed build so um, so yeah we're just we're trying to get pictures of what we can just so you guys can get some ideas of all the different builds that are out here 
And uh, you've got some for twenty five thousand. You on down to four thousand, right? <laughs> <laughs> and probably cheaper. I mean, there's. Mm -hmm. And there's one that I got over here, and you'll be able to tell because you'll be able to see the wood. But they actually built a wooden bed. Yeah. Yeah. And Some people they know there's none here. I don't believe there's any here, but they just put rails that the, the car can mm -hmm. tires can fit on. Yeah. So you got all kinds of different. You don't have to keep up with the. I can't say Joneses anymore, can I, Aaron? <laughs> you can't keep up with the Joneses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can't say that. They're friends of ours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But it's that saying. You can't keep up with the Joneses. Well, we have Joneses mm -hmm. now in our life, so. And being here, you find out you don't have to. I mean, nope. like I said, there's mm -hmm. every single truck has a different solution, so. Yep. So now we're going to the races. Meridian Speedway is not too far from here. It's Dollar Taco Night. And here's an insider tip for you, especially since it's like 100 degrees out there today. Apparently they only have one ticket line at the racetrack. And the last thing we want to do is stand there on a long ticket line. We want to go get our tacos. So you can go online and buy your tickets ahead of time, have them on your cell phone, and they just scan them when you go through the gate. That's what we've done. Yep. So off to the well, races. She's done. I ain't. No. All right. Off to the races. Ciao. And tacos. Zoom. There's a key that's place that's been running all year long, and we urge you to head on out. Double man and it's on tap, and we're going to start you off on the pole position. The 25 machine out of Caldwell, Idaho, Miss Courtney Weller. Well, that was a fun night yeah and we got home in a decent time mm -hmm. just took Lulu to the dog park and let her run and chase another dog and play and it was a little windy out there tonight not bad though it wasn't I wouldn't call that wind I'd call it a breeze a breeze a little breezy but the races were great and especially the kids the 11 to 15 group was awesome yeah yeah it was pretty cool it was only $13 a person to get in, so cheap entertainment for a night. And $5 taco, or I mean dollar tacos, and you got five of them. Mm-hmm. So, so. And they were I good. I guess it would be a dollar taco, and we got five, so that's $5. They reminded me of, if you, if any of you are familiar with San Diego, and you can go down to Tijuana, and you get the street tacos that they make right there, that's what they reminded me of. Yeah. Yep. So, we're going to get off to bed. A lot going on tomorrow. Today's there bed... Is? Yeah, there is. <laughs> There's a lot going on tomorrow. And it's tomorrow's the last day. We pack up tomorrow. That's and we, well, that too. It's going to be busy. But uh, as we mentioned earlier, today's bed build thing it wasn't quite what we thought it was going to be. So tomorrow we're going to go out and see if we can find anybody out. It's been so hot. People have been hiding out inside. But try to find several different types of bed builds and see if we can get their owners to walk them through walk us through them mm -hmm. uh, ones that carry smart cars and even some that don't carry anything i think every truck out here has a different bed build mm -hmm. i mean so many different things so we'll try to make that our mission for tomorrow since today was not not quite what we expected nope still a good day though yep from uh, homemade drum boxes to go to Home Depot and get some office drum boxes mm -hmm. to custom build home drum boxes on the back of them. Yep. And we have uh, at least one person with a wooden bed, and then we have people with a thirty thousand dollar custom built bed and everything in between. Yep. We'll show you tomorrow. Night. <laughs>